Hey everybody, I'm Sari Custer and this is Sari on Science for Arizona Science Center bringing you a little science news. This headline caught my eye and you guys already know that I love science news, but I just had to share this one immediately. Now, uh, the research comes from uh, the journal Current Biology and it's research from Kobe University. Now, let me ask you a question. How many of you are thinking about predator-prey relationships on a daily basis? Okay, probably not many of you, but that's okay. There are researchers out there who are looking at this all the time. And those researchers in Japan were looking at relationships between frogs and the water beetles in the body of water that they live in. Now, sometimes when an animal gets eaten, say it's a snail or a clam or something with that hard outer shell, uh, they can close up real tight, they get eaten, and they can survive all the acids in the process by just kind of waiting it out, so a passive process. Some other times when something gets eaten, uh, say an insect has poisons or acid, uh, they get swallowed by the predator and they engage those active processes to get then regurgitated right away or thrown up so that the predator decides, well, I don't want to eat that, uh, and they survive. So those are some pretty impressive processes, even just waiting it out or being able to actively evade. Now with this frog and water beetle situation, something was observed that researchers had never documented before. And I've got visuals for you. After the water beetle was eaten, it actually actively escapes by escaping through the frog's anus. And yes, you heard me right, through the frog's anus. All right, so frogs don't chew their food, right? They swallow it whole. So after the water beetle gets swallowed, it makes its way by crawling through the rest of the frog's digestive system. It takes somewhere, you know, around six minutes or more to make this happen. It's sped up in the video here. Uh, but you can see once it exits, the water beetle is still crawling around and just fine. Now, this was a big surprise to researchers. Um, uh, it's really interesting just to watch this happen, but they're still trying to figure out exactly how it survives and then how it gets the uh, frog to say, open up the back door. They're not sure how that happens yet. So more research to come. Uh, I'll let you know if I hear anything with a, a little bit of follow up. But for day, today, I hope it's just some good conversation starter for your friends, tell your friends, your family, um, and just keep that curious mind going. Uh, all right, that's it for today. Catch you next time with a little more Serion Science, but stay safe and stay healthy, everybody.